college thought process. Ahoy hoy, ladies and gentlemen, Marco here, and welcome to College Thought Process and Next Steps 4. Uh, this video is long overdue. I, I have no excuses. I didn't do it. It should have been done right after I came back from orientation. I will have pictures appear on the screen in order to make up for that. Um, as you can see, this is me traveling to orientation. Then at orientation, certain pictures from our early meetings, programs, and seminars. And then I have pictures on the way back. Should have done this video long time ago. I've been back home for a while and it's not right that I skipped out on it. And I thought about it and last few days or a few days before that, I was managing to get a lot of work done. I set myself a schedule in the morning, very early in the morning, started at usually, depending on what time I was ready to go, 7.45, and it continued all the way to two o'clock in, in the afternoon. And I was getting so much work done. But then the past couple of days, I've been fatigued and tired, and it's like, what happened? I used to have this mentality um, my junior year where yeah, life could be absolutely terrible. Things could just be draining me at every step of the way. But I wasn't going to let that stop me. I'd wake up one day, slept for two hours, woke up with my ribs burning, probably because I worked out the day before. And I still got through the day. Oh no, that was senior year. But even then, what happened to, what happened to that mentality? And I thought about it, I just realized I'm letting myself get tired for no particular reason. And I haven't had the same drive to make videos as of late, and it, and it's my fault. I should just continue making videos no matter what, and I have been, but I haven't felt the same when I make them. And maybe it's because I have produced the same kind of video more frequently than usual. Uh, when I first started, College Thought Process would appear every few videos, and it's been almost 10, I think. I don't know how many videos it's been, but... It's been a while since I produced this video and I thought, wow, my content has uh, not changed. And quite frankly, it reflects in my viewership. I can tell not everyone's willing to see the same thing over and over and over again. And I don't blame them. I don't blame any of you. Um, although my channel is growing, it's great. Fantastic. But if I'm not invested to the same point that I was when I started, it will reflect on the channel. And I don't like that. Again, there's, I used to wake up with this mentality. Uh, have you ever seen the movie Hitch? Hitch himself has this one quote that I absolutely love. And it goes something along the lines of, no, I'm going to quote it. Start every day as if it's on purpose. And I used to have a, let's make today great mentality. Something very similar. Or make something of today. And... It kept me going and going and going, even though I'd be working out two or three times a day. I'd be exhausted by the time I got back home. And, I just, and I'd still be able to do my homework. I'd still get just enough sleep to live. Probably escalated my, um, my chances for heart disease from that. But it's so possible. And yet, here I am, just a couple of days away from having to leave. And I'm getting tired, fatigued, as if, oh, nothing matters. I haven't even fully packed yet. Granted, granted, I'm not going to pack everything right off the bat because there's no point. Some things need to be packed at the last minute because I may need them right before I need to pack up and leave. But my sheer sense of thrill is not there. And why isn't it there? It's because I get jaded pretty quickly. I've put myself into a mentality where things just do not bother me very much after an extended period of time. And I've known that I'm going to be leaving for quite some time. Now, I went to Michigan State for my orientation. And when I was there, I felt like I needed to work and get things done. And the thing is, I had nothing to do. Well, not much. I explored a little bit. I 
went home. I went to my dorm and I I enjoyed how, that I was there, but it felt like I needed to work and I needed to get something done. I was in a place where this is where I must work. And now that I start talking about it, I feel much better. I needed to get this off my chest. I needed to do this. And I know a lot of you, of my viewers, are still in high school. Not only from my analytics of my audience, I just know who my viewers are. Um, the channel's super small. It's really easy to keep track of who's watching my videos. But there are people that I take inspiration from. Uh, for instance, back in my high school, I recently found out that there is no cross-country coach. And for those of you who do not know, I was cross-country captain my junior and senior year in high school. And not only that, I had been in cross-country since sixth grade, all the way through up to my senior year. And this last year, I had a set of runners that can only be described as amazing. I could not have asked for a better team. And one of my runners has, well, granted, I sent her a video uh, for the channel just so I can get an extra view. And she started telling me that there was no coach. And granted, I believed if anyone had the mentality to be captain, I thought it was going to be her. And you know who you are. So when you see this video, don't you dare give up. There are ways, we discussed this, how you can get cross-country up and running again. Don't you dare give up on getting it going again. And it's that mentality that I want every one of you to just embody for just a moment. Because depending on the kind of person you are, you're either defensive or offensive. Now, that sounds very awkward in how I said it, but a defensive person likes to stand still and take whatever life can give at them. And yeah, sure, they will make more for themselves, but they kind of stand there and make sure they can't be moved. So maybe you start off as like a wood board, just blocking out the wind, you know, keeping out the element, the one side of the elements. It's not much, but it's something. Or maybe you're offensive, where you just have to keep taking and making more for yourself and you have to go forward with whatever you've got. And it's like a dagger. It's small, doesn't give you a whole lot of range, but it's there and it does the damage it needs to do to get things done. We're all gonna start off small as either a plank of wood or a little dagger, but you can make yourself more. If you're defensive and you're the kind of person who likes to stand in place and yeah, I don't need the whole world at my feet, but I want my own piece of land, I want my own piece of the world, and I don't want anyone to take it from me. Well, make it so. Turn into turn from a plank of wood to a shield, something that can take a better hit, then to a shelter, and eventually up to a bastion, something that is just nearly unassailable. You're so sturdy, you're so ingrained in where you are that no one can take the progress you've made away from you because you're not risking as much, but you are there and you're stable, you're not moving. And that's just something in of itself to be proud of. Now, if you're more offensive, I'm a little more offensive, it's a little more risky. You build yourself upon making better strides and greater strides in whatever field or environment you are set in. So you start off as this little dagger. Yeah, you can whip around and cause a little bit of damage, but it's not quite enough. Eventually, you're going to have to move up to a spear, something that gives a little more range. Then, move up from there. Take more and make more of it. 
eventually make yourself into a one-man army. Granted, granted, no one person can do everything. But if you can do something, lead those who can do it for you. I kept forgetting about all these, uh, these philosophies that I used to carry with myself in order to make myself a better person or at least a more aggressive person in life and just to get things done. And I let it, I let it fall away. Why? I'm, I'm tired. Yeah, I've been tired for years. And yet I have the mentality to just keep going and just keep pushing myself and make myself better and take from other people's experiences and my own experiences and just shift them so that way they worked for me. What happened? Well, I don't know. But it's time to restart. Make things better, make myself a better person, stronger, faster, smarter. <laughs> All cliches, of course. The cliches hold weight for a reason. But tell me something. Have you taken a moment recently to just sit back, think of what you really want out of life, and then take steps in order to achieve it? Yeah, most people, they have some kind of ultimate goal where, oh yeah, I want a degree, and I want, or maybe I want to work with this company. But how are you going to get to it? Yeah, sure, you know you need to get the degree. But what if that doesn't work out? The degree, going to college, very likely for most people, as long as you're willing to talk to your professors, talk to your academic advisors, it can happen. That's not an issue. Well, not the biggest issue. But what if the company says no? I don't want you. Uh, there's someone else who is better suited for this position. Are you going to let it just fall? Are you just going to give up there and then because you have no other plan? Personally, I don't like that idea. Here I am. I'm driving to go. I feel, I feel I'm talking to you and I'm the ones getting motivated. I don't want... To have to ever use my degree. Granted, I probably will, but I, I want to gain $75,000 a year without my degree. How am I going to do that? That's secret. And that has a little bit to do with this channel. So I have a plan. It's there and it's, it's growing. It's working its way up. Do you have the same ideas? Do you have similar backup plans or concepts that will keep you going? I hope so. I know a lot of you, a lot of my viewers, I know you personally to some extent or another. And I know you have a lot of potential. Simple example, my, run, my former runner who wants to get cross country going again and actually spoke to me about it. We talked about how you can get things going. Don't you dare give up. You have an opportunity here. Take full advantage of it. It'll look good on you and it'll look good on the school. And I'll be proud of you for it. I'm leaving a lot of you all behind. All the people I know. Pretty much leaving them behind. So I can go to a new place and make a life out of where I've been. Or where I'm going. I have experiences from down here. And now I'm going to have experiences from Michigan State. I don't know about you all, but I'm ready to go. So, MSU, get ready.